Hey everybody, it's me, Remy the Comic Book Poster, and I'm here today to welcome you to End of the Poseverse. Mad Cave Studios had a whatnot auction, and you know I had to pick up some stuff, so see what's in the box till you check it out after this. You've got mail. All right, I feel like I am uh, always talking about Mad Cave Studios, and they had an auction on whatnot a couple weeks ago, and it was uh, I think it was a all giveaway stream, but they had stuff that you could uh, pick up from the shop. And I, of course, did that. I don't think I want to give away. No, I know I didn't want to give away. Uh, but I picked up a handful of different things explicitly so I could have a couple of items to give away. All right, apparently uh, my recording shut off uh, as I was showing off the books that I got. So I'll do faster than I said it the first time so I can show you a giveaway book. Uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, and make sure you not add a comment to be eligible to pick up something from this stack. So here we go. All right, so I picked up my first two Maverick titles uh, physically that I've read them uh, all digitally, either through their uh, press hub or uh, by picking them up as an ebook. Uh, but you've got Good Game Well Played, and then you've got World Class by Jay Sandlin, who We'll see if he lets me send this to him so uh, I can get it signed. But you've got a high octane uh, story about a kid trying to make it on an elite soccer club. Uh, and then I've got four other trades of Mad Cave titles. So you've got uh, the anthology Grim Tales from the Cave. This was released last year. Uh, that has some work from Colin Bunn in it. It has some work from uh, the sexiest man in comics, Mark London. Uh, in addition to showcasing the talent of, I think it was last year's crop of talent search winners. I also picked up the Carmen line, which if uh, you like horror, you like space horror, you like sci-fi dystopian stuff, uh, then holy crap, is this the book for you? This is by... Kansas City's own Dennis Hopeless, who uh, is talented all across the board, but has written probably my favorite volume of Spider Woman, and y'all know how much I love that, uh, love her as a character. And then the last two books I picked up, um, I know I've got the hardcover of Nottingham that collects the first two volumes, but I don't think I ever picked up volume two in trade, and I figured why, why just get volume two when you can also get volume one. Uh, but this is the book that I'm going to give away that I love this story. It is, you know, the book that's pulled a lot of people to, to Mad Cave Studios that, uh, you know, there were six million printings of issue number one. Uh, so if you have not read this and don't want to spend the excess money to try and get a first or second printing of number one, uh, then you should most definitely throw something down in the comments below to pick up one of these. So what do you think? Is there one of these books that you want to hear me talk about in a little bit more depth? Is there anything from Mad Cave Studios that you want to talk about uh, in terms of either their books uh, through Mad Cave or through uh, Maverick, their young adult uh, graphic novel imprint? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, y'all, thanks for stopping by and have a good one. got mail.